Warning from the Cleveland Better Business Bureau after a Euclid woman says two flat screen TVs she ordered from Walmart were picked up by somebody else. She says so far the store will not reimburse her. We contacted Walmart corporate offices about the case. News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis says the BVB is urging co uh, consumers to make sure they understand a store's pickup protocol before you buy anything online. It's very upsetting, especially before the holiday. Michelle Cox of Euclid says she's been left with frustration and disappointment after buying two flat screen TVs from this Walmart in South Euclid online, paying $449.28. She says she set up a pickup date at the store of November 28th, but was then stunned when she got this email indicating her TVs had already been picked up on November 25th, three days earlier. And I was just so confused. I was just thinking like, Maybe it's just a glitch, but no. When I got to the store, the, the manager, she told me that somebody had picked it up. She was very short. She didn't want to help me. Michelle says the store manager showed her video of her TVs being picked up by two men she didn't know and says the manager told her the men had the order number and that's why her merchandise was released by Walmart staff. And they show the TVs being put into someone's Jeep compass and I don't know who these people are. And South Euclid police responded to this incident reviewing the surveillance video of the two men that picked up Michelle's TVs at the store but South Euclid police say they consider this issue a civil dispute between Michelle and Walmart since Walmart has yet to file an official theft report in this case. Cleveland BBB President Sue McConnell told News 5 it's crucial consumers use a credit card when making a large online order for pickup at a store location so they can utilize the card's fraud protection if needed. Because if there is an issue with the purchase, you don't receive it, something happens, you can dispute that with your credit card company. And if the store doesn't require a photo ID for merchandise release, you may want to shop elsewhere or have the item delivered. You want to be absolutely certain that the store has some sort of security protocols in place so that not just anyone can walk in and pick up something that you've paid for. Walmart corporate offices responded immediately to our story and verified an online buyer can designate someone else to pick up an item for them and that a photo ID is required for purchases of more than $200, both of which Michelle says did not happen in her case. Meanwhile, Michelle has filed a complaint with the BBB in this case and is issuing a warning of her own. I definitely feel like they need to be more careful or even hire people with more experience maybe. But yes, they definitely need to change the protocol. Reporting in South Euclid, this is News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.